Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am excited to show you guys something that you have been requesting in the comments. We are going to cook up this cute little mini ham. This was just a leftover little piece that I went ahead and brined with my hams about a little over eight months ago now. So this has been stored in non-optimal conditions. You can tell the fat is very yellowed. It has been in a 70 degree room in full sun. It has had a hard life. It hasn't had the best storage conditions and it's gonna cook up wonderfully. Well, you might notice my kitchen setup is a little bit different than usual. Things are going to be a little bit weird for me for the next few months. We are in an exciting time of transition. We are in the process of moving. We just sold our home and we are working on purchasing a new home and moving into a new homestead. But in the meantime, we are living with family and so things are just in a weird place of transition for us, but we're going to try to keep making content and keep sharing things with you guys during that time. All right, it's a very simple process from here. All we're gonna do is remove the hook and we're going to place this in a pot of water. Make sure that your meat is completely covered. We're gonna stick it on a burner over low heat and we're just gonna let this simmer away nice and low until this evening. So probably because this one is so rock solid, I'm gonna say at least four to six hours and then I'll test it and see how rehydrated it is at that point. But I'm expecting that by dinner time, this will be ready to slice. We'll see you in a few hours. All right, we're back. This little mini ham has just been simmering on low all day. You could also do this in a crock pot or a slow cooker. Just put it on normal or low and just let it simmer away until you can get a fork stabbed into it pretty easily. And you're gonna know that it's soft enough to slice. So optionally, I would say for maybe like a fancier dinner or something if you were having company or it was a holiday you might want to go the extra mile and do one more step after this you might want to remove it from the pot and then bake it with the glaze to get a nice like you know crispy skin and kind of make a more special presentation but this is just a weeknight dinner for us and we're not going to go ahead and do that extra step we're just gonna take it out of the boiling water like that it smells really good and it is nice and fork tender. I can kind of stab it fairly easily all over. It's great. I'm going to get it oriented in a nice way to slice it. There we go. And as we saw at the beginning, some of this fat is not the nicest quality anymore. So I'm just going to take some of these bigger fat pieces and stick them back in the pot because I will set this pot outside in the cool to just cool down. The fat will all rise to the top and solidify and I'll feed that to the chickens instead of putting that down the drain. You don't want to pour a bunch of fat into the drain. If your fat was, you know, good quality, that'd be delicious, especially if you baked it again. But since this one was not having the best storage circumstances as we covered. We're just gonna peel some of the extra fatty chunks off and just trim it up a bit. All right, we've got it sliced and laid out and I'm going to just give it a little bit of a wash with this honey and mustard glaze. The simplest ever and it's so good. Just ground mustard seed and honey, that's all you need. All right, there you have it. That was pretty simple, right? From storage in the pantry to finished weeknight meal for the family. Only a few minutes really of hands-on time. That was pretty simple. We put it on low in the morning, came back in the evening, sliced it up, put a very quick little sauce on it. And I'm going to serve this with some roasted potatoes and a little side of sauerkraut for a cozy and nourishing winter homestead meal that I can grow and preserve by myself pretty easily. 
So I hope this was encouraging and maybe answered some of your questions about how you can prepare these preserved meats. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions or what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Thank you guys, have a great one.